Stella. Smile, you're on candid camera. Can you go underwater? Nah, I don't oh. think she's a fan Come. of underwater. Come on, let's go underwater. Huh? I guess, should I get your feet underwater? I'm gonna get my goggles on. Stella. Yeah. Just order it. Yeah, you go under water. You go under water with it. I'll get her feet. <laughs> what is it? You know what the thing is? It's been raining so much. The water. Don't break it, Chris. Who you got from camera? Oh, well, I'll put it out. Oh, wow. You want to see a fire-breathing dragon? I'll bet he clips in the pool. Oh. Facebook and those things. <laughs> <laughs> You're too popular, get a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'll get you taking a picture. <laughs> No, but you can put the face underwater too, so then go. I really wasn't going to wet my hair, but. Oh, you gotta go late. swimming and not wet your hair. <laughs> you didn't wet your hair. There I am. Amazing. <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll do it again. <laughs> One day I'll pull out the scuba tank and just sit under there, oh, there you and go, just yeah. watch everybody. <laughs> I want to get him to use brandy, you know? Hey! Knock it 
door. You scared me. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. 
On the table over there, where Edwin. 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 Mitzi. Movies now. Okay, you ready? <laughs> I think I got that. Sit. Do they sit? <laughs> oh. oh, he wants some food. I wish we could pet them. Dogs were, you, know. yeah. you can't pet them though, huh? We could, but with yeah. Johnny. Yeah. Hey, you. Hey. Hi. It's like he wants. He's telling you that he wants some water. He wants some water. That's what I'm saying. He wants food. Huh? He wants some water.
Cheese. Look over here. Hi. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Cut that out. Hands. <laughs> oh, that's right. Use your feet then, like a monkey. <laughs> Say, Hello. Look at your picture taken. Say hi. Nah, you're not going to say hi to Uncle Joey? Hey, you say better hi. say hi to me. Ah, oh, here it is. That's good. Take your feet. Be my little motorboat. You want some, you want some uh, noodles? Nah, you don't want to hold on to them? I want some lap. You want some of my lap? Oh, you want noodles? You want to like behind. Nice boy. Yeah! Lori, I got that all on film. Lori. Still get brave. I got I got you all on film putting your pants on. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> I thought about it, but I I know I know better. I got it right here in my hand. Here's yours. Here's your. Here's your one for the back. I want my ball. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> That's a good way. That's a good. Here's your ball. It's really bright. It's really good. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. 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 I got these things the end of last year that were like two bucks a piece. I should have bought a dozen of them. Yeah, that looks like it. Good. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, get long. You got two noodles, huh?
Let's see what it looks like underwater. <laughs> And you got trains up on top too, like Wegman. How many trains are on there? How many are on there? There's two in the team and there's two in the team. Do you like the train? Yeah, the Estelle likes the snow one. So fast! Why are you not going to watch it? Yeah, go fast. That's why I did it. Go fast. If you look at the, the green cars, mm -hmm. they're from the 50s. That was from S and H green stamps. Okay. Oh, yeah. green cars? See that the Those yellow and green ones? ones. Mm -hmm. That's a big that was um. Those are big. What they call it? If you look at the shield on it, it's solid. Those are big cars. That, line, that shield there. That car is probably like a five thousand dollar car. Really? Those are baby yeah, the, the one with That's the red. That's how rare it is, right? The one with the red. They were originally made in blue. And what had happened? <clears throat> the silver one with the red writing. Okay. When the train come to the end of the line, when they were making it, they had these things that went up and stamped it. Well, when the Ink was running out of blue, it started to go to red, so one or two cars might have got through in red. That's one of the cars. Mm -hmm. That's uh, awesome. I had a lot of crazy stuff like that. Chill, Space yeah. cars. That's what I wanted to see. Where's that one at? Wasn't there one, uh, it was Space Shuttle or something? Well, I got one that's all Lionel made a lot of space cars in the 50s. How about that? It sounds just like a steam locomotive. <laughs> Yeah, there's EW. Yeah, these are mine burned up. Yeah. It goes that way. These are 275 watts. 
this one here is all the way to the That set there is from the 1950s. They call it the anniversary set. That was for the 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think they light up and you can see the people, the silhouettes of the people in them, man. Yeah. That set up top is a girl set. In 57, they made that set for yeah. the girls and it never sold. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pastel one. Pastel. <laughs> and it never sold. So what they did was they were giving them away if you bought four or five or seven tires, they could be a set. Well, it ends up now, that set there is probably worth $10,000. Oh, wow. Because none of them you know, survived. Yeah. yeah. Pick me up. Some stuff is great. And I mean, I got uh, some new stuff in here, too. Um, is that two, two? I don't know if this is the one or not. One of these stations here actually catches fire. And smoke comes out. I got one with a house that catches fire. And the firemen are out front squirting water on it. Um, there's things over here that unload culverts onto a train. And then take them off the train and put them back on the loader. There's one that unloads wood. One that unloads barrels. I got one, a firehouse. It's neat. You hit the button and the lights go on in the firehouse and the guy slides down the pole, the garage door goes up and the fire truck pulls out and goes around the corner. <laughs> You're in Disneyland really here, you know? Okay. How long have you been collecting all these? You know what? I started <clears throat> when I was a kid and then I got rid of them. Yeah. And in the okay. 80s, 80s and 90s, I probably had... Eighty, ninety thousand dollars worth of trains. Wow! And it was just sets. Yeah. You know, a set that sold for fifty bucks back in the fifties. Yeah. Some of them are worth twenty, thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. The highest line L set was called the estate set, and the guy had one of the original boxes that went for three hundred thousand dollars. Oh my God! But it's really crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And they have the boxes are everything. You know, if you get the box, <laughs> the box sometimes is worth more than the car. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I took. I went up to New York one day, and the guy had the box for the fifty yeah, hucks stuff on it. And I had the fifty hucks and stuff. I didn't have the set box. I mean, these two guys are walking me out. I'm here, stand on this. I said to the guy, "Here, I'll give you a thousand dollars for the empty box." And he said, "You're crazy." And I give him the money. And when I got back here, the guy that owned the train store in Houston, I built this house in Houston. Uh, you know, and when you get back here, he says, you know, I hate to say this, but you're a real ass. So my mind is, he said, $1,000 for an empty box? I said, get your book out. I said, what's the trains worth? And he said, the trains are worth $2,800. I said, how much are they worth in the box? He says, $7,000. I said, who's the asshole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah.